So this lab is, does air have volume? The idea here is, I'll place this jar with paper towels upside down into the fish bowl, and if, if air has volume, what would you expect to happen? Yes? The paper towels would be shoved the what? The paper towels would fall off the water. Okay, the paper towels will fall out into the water if air has volume, okay, possibly. The paper towels might stay dry if air has volume. Okay. Why do you think that would happen if air has volume? Why would that keep the paper towels dry? Because it will push the water? Okay. Um, so you're saying if air has volume, then the water will not be able to enter the jar and the paper towels will stay dry? Okay. If, so if air doesn't have volume, what would you expect to happen when I put this down into the water? Maddie? The jar would fill up with water. Okay, well, let's see what happens. The nice thing with these brown paper towels is, you all know from using these in the past, past experience with these paper towels, if the paper towels were getting wet, what would you see? They'd turn darker brown, wouldn't they? Are they getting wet? No. No. So we can... If you wrote your hypothesis as air has volume, okay, or if you put a question of does air have volume, either way, you can say in the next section, the data and conclusions, that based upon this lab, we would still think that air does have volume. Okay. Is it possible that there's something else acting here that we're not sure about? That there's something else that's causing the paper towels to stay dry? Is that possible? Yes, that's always possible. It's always possible that there's some variable that we didn't measure. 